Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about the content security policy headers and how you can use them to secure your web app. So let's get started. I basically have a static HTML page that I'm serving and as you can see this is what it looks like. This is just some text. Hello. Then I'm downloading a script which is basically a jQuery uh, from a CDN. And then uh, I have an inline uh, a code which is using jQuery to basically append to the body added by jQuery. This is uh, this is the code, and you can see it all works and everything else. So let's say if you wanted to use the content security policy uh, to uh, secure your web app, and you can read through the details uh, uh, on this particular website, and I put in a link. But let me explain to you how you would go about doing that in, in, in one particular way. So the one easy way to do is uh, through what is called a meta tag. And in a meta tag, you can add uh, in the HTML itself. And you can say HTTP equivalent is equal to content security policy. And then you define your content to be uh, something, something. So let's say uh, typically what you want to do is uh, you want to uh, essentially uh, allow scripts only from your website so you could just say script source is just self and if you did that let's see what happens if I reload this page see uh, you can see this jQuery is not getting the script is not getting loaded and this is how you could use the content security policy and it is actually telling you in Chrome because it only has the script source self and that's the reason why it is not working. So let's just go back there and uh, put that back in again. So the next line I'm going to show you is uh, if we can just uh, say that we want to be able to download scripts from the same website and also from code.jquery.com which is where I'm getting this uh, script from and if I just did that uh, I should get a basically a different error because it says uh, it, it was able to download the script, but it cannot execute uh, this portion of the code, which is inline script. And the reason is I didn't uh, add unsafe inline. So if I add unsafe inline, I would be able to execute uh, uh, the uh, inline uh, JavaScript and be able to see the result. And here you can see now it all works. So essentially what you want to look uh, for is in the content security policy. And right now I'm just using the script source directive, but they do have directives for default source, styling, imaging, and fonts, and all kinds of different stuff. And you can actually add this in the header tags as well. And it actually, I think, uh, might show you here how to do it on the Apache, but uh, I'm not sure. Sure, let's see if it, yeah, so it is actually telling you how to add the uh, content security policy header on the Apache itself and uh, some other servers. So thank you for watching this short screencast and I'm going to add this uh, to my website under content security policy and securing your web app. And thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.